Okay, so for tonight's homework, what we're doing is just applying what we've learned in trigonometry to real world problems, to word problems. There's some vocabulary we need to be familiar with. So if you turn in your textbook to page 469, and who wants to read to me at the top of 469 where it says angles? And if you read really loud, you can hear yourself on YouTube later. All right. Okay, you're going to read really loud? Okay. If you look up at an object, the angle your line of sight makes with a horizontal line is called the angle of elevation. If you look down at an object, the angle of your line of sight makes with the horizontal line is called the angle of depression. So basically, in these problems, you're going to hear these terms, and you need to just understand that they're giving you the measurements of an angle. So we're going to look at some real-world problems. Who wants to read to me about skiing? Go ahead, me. You are skiing on a mountain with an altitude of 1,200 meters. The angle of depression is 21 degrees. About how far do you ski down the mountain? Okay. So the angle of depression, that's this angle here, is 21 degrees. So I'm just going to highlight this right triangle. And this is 1,200 meters. So 1,200 meters represents the leg opposite or the leg adjacent to the 21 degree angle. Opposite. So we have a 21 degree angle. The side opposite, it is 1,200. We want to find this, which is the hypotenuse, the side opposite, the 90, correct? So when we set up a ratio and it's opposite over hypotenuse, which trig ratio are we using? Close Somebody five. say, I got a class of five, five. Right now. Sign. So now, in your calculator, 21 sine. What is the ratio, for a, what is the sine ratio for a 21 degree angle? 0.3584. So 0 0.3584 equals 1,200 divided by x. So to clear that, I'm going to multiply x by both sides and get 3, 0.3584x equals 1,200, correct? Now I'm going to divide 1,200 divided by 0 0.3584, and what do I get? I'm waiting. Three, three, four, eight, point two. Three, four. No. Three, three, four, eight. Three, three, four, eight. Three, three, four, eight. Yes. Yes. Three thousand, three hundred, forty-eight, roughly, point two. But basically, we are skiing, or this man is skiing downhill. 3,348 meters, okay? Okay, that's what they wanted us to find. Now, you could have also used this triangle, but now this is a 90 degree angle. So part of it is 21. What is the complement to the 21 degree angle? 69. 69. And if this is 1,200 meters, this is 1,200 meters, correct? Yes. So now, 1,200 is your adjacent leg, correct? The hypotenuse is still x. Now, you have a 69 degree angle. But are you using the sine? No. You're using the cosine, cosine because it's adjacent. So in your calculator, 69 cosine. 0. 0.3584. <gasps> wow. Okay, you don't have to memorize this, Close. but the sine and the cosine of complementary angles, there's a relationship there. The sine of one angle, if you take the complement of it, and find the cosine, it's the same ratio. Okay? If you do this math and you use this, this 
red triangle and the 69 degree angle, you would still get 3,348. Okay? That's the kind of stuff you're going to be doing on homework tonight. So we're going to look at another problem. And we're going to look at building a skateboard ramp. This could be fun in our backyard. So let's say we want to build a skateboard ramp. And we want it to be 14 feet long and an angle of elevation of 26 degrees. Okay, so that's what they want to make sure you know. The angle of elevation means it goes in here. Okay? 14 represents the what? The opposite, the adjacent, or the hypotenuse? The hypotenuse. So let's first find x, the height here, okay? If I have a 26 degree angle, in this case, x is the opposite leg or the adjacent leg? Opposite. And if it's opposite, is it sine or cosine? Sine, 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 sine. So, 26 sine in the calculator. I know. 26 sine in the calculator. 0.4384. Okay, leave that in the calculator, because in this case you have a number in the denominator, and multiply it by 14. 6 point what? 6.137. Okay, so basically x is about 6.1 feet. This could be fun. We build a ramp in our backyard, and when we're at the top, we're almost we're just over 6 feet above the ground. That's taller than just about everybody in this classroom. That'd be fun. And then you get on the ramp, and you go 14 feet down, and hope you don't break your neck. Yeah. Okay. Now we want to figure out why. That's the distance from the bottom here to the bottom of the ramp. So I'm going to erase this, and I'm finding y. <coughs> and that's over the hypotenuse. And now since I have finding the adjacent side, it's the cosine. cosine. Woohoo! What's the cosine of 26? 0. 0.8984. 8. Okay, whatever it is, you can leave it in the calculator and multiply it by 14. I like these, so I don't have to write it down and just multiply. What do you get? 12.6. So basically, this thing's going to be 12.6 feet long. It's going to go 6 feet in the air. And I'm going to try not to break my neck. This is wrong. Yes. Uh, this, this guy, uh, uh, he, he was stuck on rad on the calculator. He uh, didn't get what's going on the whole time. Yeah. So make sure on the calculator, it's a public service announcement here on the video, that you are on degrees. You don't want to be on rad until we do radians in the circle chapter. So now we're going to work on the problems that you had for homework. Problem number 33 involves an airplane ramp. The airplane door is 19 feet off the ground, and the ramp has a 31 degree angle of elevation. What is the length y of the ramp? So it's a little bit difficult to see, but that's what you're finding there, so you can clearly see if this is the 90 degree angle, you're finding the hypotenuse. So I'm dealing with a 31 degree angle. I don't know yet whether I'm using sine, cosine, or tangent. I'm going to see when I set this up. I want to find the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse only uses sine or cosine, and in either case the hypotenuse is on the bottom, and 19. And now I can see that 19 is opposite 31 degree angle. So opposite over hypotenuse is sine. Now, taking out my calculator, which I thought I had a scientific calculator here with me, but I don't know where it is. So I'm going to use this one right here. 31 sine is basically point. 5150. So, point 
5150 equals 19 over y. Now some of you are having trouble solving this. The first thing you need to do to get rid of y, because it's in the denominator, is multiply it by both sides. 5.5150y equals 19. And then you divide 0 0.5150 into 19, which is 19 divided by 0 0.5150. What you may start to notice here when you do these, when you have y in the denominator, you're going to end up with these changing places. You might have noticed as we've been doing these that that happens. So a lot of times when I actually do the problem, I'll just see this and I'll actually just go 19 divided by 0 0.5150. That's why it works. I have a calculator on this screen I can also use. 19 divided by 0.5150. 5150 is 36.89, or that's going to round to the tenth as 36.9. So the ramp is 36.9 feet long. For the next problem, find the horizontal find the horizontal distance h in the bleachers cover round to the nearest foot so in this case they want us to find the horizontal distance which is h the 27 degree angle equals h over 18 h is the adjacent. So when I have adjacent over hypotenuse, it's cosine. And the cosine is 0 0.8910. equals h over 18. I'm going to leave that in my calculator. I'm going to multiply by 18 and I get 16.038. Surrounding to the nearest foot, this is 16. Okay, you also had for homework a few problems that were on I'm looking at my book here, page 476. Unfortunately, I don't have screenshots up here of these pictures. But the first one talks about you're building a skateboard ramp that is 20 feet long. Did a problem like this in class. Okay, and on this skateboard ramp, they want you to use the same angle as before, which is an angle elevation of 26 degrees. Okay, find the height and the base of the ramp. So the height is the side opposite the 26 degree angle. So opposite over hypotenuse, x over 20 is equal to the sine of 26. So I'm going to use off screen my scientific calculator and I'm in that going to put 26 sine and I get that the sine of 26 is 0.43837, and it continues on. Now, since I'm going to actually end up multiplying by 20, I'm just going to do that in my calculator, and I get 8.76, which is going around to 8.8. .8. Now, different color, I want to find the measure of the base which is the leg adjacent to the 26 degree angle. So I get 26 degree angle. Now I'm finding, I'm going to call this y, for, and it's adjacent over the hypotenuse. So now I wrote sine, but I made a mistake. It should be cosine because it's adjacent over hypotenuse. So 26 cosine 
is 0.898794, blah, 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 blah. Since I'm going to end up multiplying it by 20 to solve for y, I'm going to do that off screen on my calculator, and I get 17.97, rounded to the nearest tenth is 18. So the base is 18, the height is 8.8. .8. The next problem involves the angle of elevation from the swimmer to the lifeguard. So basically, you have a pool here and you have a swimmer. And if the swimmer is looking up at the lifeguard, and I'm going to have the lifeguard sitting in a lifeguard chair. There he is. Okay, he's looking up at an elevation of 35 degrees. Find the distance from X from the swimmer to the base of the lifeguard chair and find the distance from the swimmer to the lifeguard. So the lifeguard is up in the chair six feet up. I want to find the distance from the swimmer to the base of the lifeguard chair. That's the loose line there and from the swimmer up to the lifeguard would be actually be the hypotenuse. So I'm first going to find the hypotenuse. So 6 over x is going to equal sine of 35 because that's opposite over adjacent. So off screen my Sine of 35 is 0.5736. Now I said earlier what I'll start to do is realize that when I multiply this by x and then I divide by 0.5736, what I'm really just doing is doing 6 divided by 0.5736 and that gives me 10 0.46 was going to round to 10.5. Okay, so from the swimmer to the lifeguard is 10.5. Then from the swimmer to the base, I'm going to call that y. Now I'm going to find the adjacent. I'm still going to use this opposite that they gave me over the adjacent. And opposite over adjacent, that's actually the tangent ratio. So the tangent of a 35 degree angle is 0 0.7002. Now, as I said, if I multiply that by y, I get 6. And then to get y, I'm going to divide 6 divided by 0.7002. What I start to realize is I could have just automatically just done 6 divided by 0 0.7002. And I'm going to do that off camera on my calculator. And I get 8.568. 8, so that's going to write round to 8.6. So the base is 8.6. The height, sorry, the base is 8.6. The distance from the swimmer to the lifeguard is 10.5. And for problem three, they actually, we're not solving anything, we're writing equations. This is a very bad triangle, but the base is nine, sorry, the height is 9.5. The hypotenuse is 17. We want to find the base. This is 34 degrees. And they're not asking you to actually solve, they're asking you to find, write three equations. So I don't know if you realize this, but when you're using sine, cosine, or tangent, you're actually writing equations. So if I find x by doing opposite, sorry, I did that backwards. If I find x by doing opposite over adjacent, that's the tangent ratio. If I find x by doing adjacent over hypotenuse, 
that's the cosine ratio. Or I could use Pythagorean theorem. So that would be x squared plus 9.5 squared equals 17 squared. Any of these three problems, three equations, will give us the same answer. I hope this has made your homework that much easier in solving word problems and real-world problems with trigonometric ratios.